Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne and compared to the last 50 hours worth of videos and the last two, I'm sure this one's going to be lovely and quick, it's issue 50 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Okay, as you can see, laid out here is seats and uh, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Uh, let's just show you there all the bits that we're getting with it. Um, I just noticed here, we've got the M screws, it's saying 6 HP screws. Oh yeah, we have got both of those screws, and we've got uh, one of these things here. Um, oh, and there's the other one, two of them. Uh, and it is worth saying that the backs of these, this one and this one, let me just check these, are metal. They're metal. So uh, really good quality they are. Um, but let's just have a quick look. We're going to be putting some sponge in the seats and then attaching the seats to the car. Don't get much easier than that. You know what? That is a godsend compared to what we've just had to do over the last uh, few issues. But let's get cracking on it. Step one, we're going to be taking uh, this piece here. Um, I did uh, see some people on the forum. If you're not a member of the forum, then please jump over to the Facebook group and join the uh, Build the Back to the Future forum. Um, when they're getting these through, they are a little bit uh, marked. As you can see on this one, there is a couple of marks, but that does look like a scuff mark you'd normally get on a seat. Um, but I've got a little bit of denting. Let's show you on the other camera. Just there. Um, it's hardly noticeable, but, um, you know, these do come like that. If you want to fix them, you can. Get a hairdryer on them or something. They're not as bad on mine, so I'm going to leave them, but that won't be a problem. Okay, so to get started with, um, basically I've had this metal bit in here. Uh, that's not meant to be in there, so let's take that out. Oh, peel it off. Just like so, because can't get the last one out. God, this is stubborn. Uh, because we're going to be putting some foam in there, so we put a little bit of foam in there, and then we put this bit back on, pads it out a bit. Now, obviously, you've got these little uh, ports here that are going to be going down these runners here, so make sure that they are in to stop this thing bowing out. There we go. That's put. We've got one at the top as well. Perfect one here. Perfect one here, perfect. There we go. So it looks like that when it's all in. Show you on the side camera. Looks like that from one side and that for the back. Okay, so that was step two. Step three, we're going to be doing exactly the same thing. Oh, hang on, this one's not in all the way. <laughs> Make sure you get them in all the way, otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. There we go, that's perfect. Um, okay, we're going to be doing exactly the same thing with a base. So we've got the base just like that. We're going to be putting uh, a bit of foam in there like that and then we're going to be putting the uh, the base plate in which looks like this and it goes in uh let's have a check um oh sorry this is the base bit <laughs> the metal bit uh it goes in just the one way so again you're going to make sure that the uh bits of the rubber there slip onto the adjoining things on the metal so when you push it down it's all locked in all the way around so that was step four done uh, step five we're going to be attaching this to this so you're going to have a chair looking just like, whoops, show you on that camera, that. Uh, but these are going to be put in, first of all. Oh, I apologise for that cutaway then. The postman's just been and Guess what? The R2-D2s are here. So uh, we've got those to start when these are finished. <laughs> anyway, so that was step five. Step six, we're going to be aligning the holes, the base, the two parts of the seat and insert knob 50F. Now these knobs here are exactly the same. Uh, but they can only go in one way because they've got, again, a little uh, bit of plastic that comes out, which makes it directional. So we'll put the first one in. <laughs> oh, get in there. Perfect. They click in just like that, so you know that's done. So that's the first one in. Uh, and then on the other side, they want me to push... Uh, tighten. Oh, we've got to put a, a HP screw in there, so we'll be keeping that in with a HP screw. Let's uh, get these out. You can see I don't look at the instructions before I start this thing. As soon as I uh, open it, I'm pretty much getting a first look at it, just like you guys are if you're watching these videos. So I do apologise if it looks like I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> But there we go, so that's the uh, HP screw in, and we're going to be doing exactly the same on the other side here. So we'll get this piece here, we we'll make sure it goes in the right way, until it clicks, just like that, perfect. And then once again, we'll be putting a HP screw in there. This seat's reclining already. 
Oh, guess what? I think that just fell out when I pulled it. Let's put it back in again. There you go. Uh, if you have it tight enough, then obviously you can set the recline of the seat there. Can you see? So I can have it back. I can have it on. And if you just, if you don't want to do that, obviously you can just make these as tight as you want. I'm just going to tighten it up just a little bit. Uh, but that is one of the seats completed. That was step eight completed. Um, step nine, we're going to be putting the backs in for these. Uh, so we put the big back in first, which is this one here. It's going to be going in with uh, these bits facing down. So it's going to be going in sort of like that. Look, I'm not happy with that. Can you see that side there? I've got to figure out why that is not pushing all the way in because it is in the uh, channel here. Can you see it is in the channel, but something's stopping it. And I don't know why. If you have a look at my uh, rubber there, actually, it's quite ripped to pieces. And I think that's what's causing the problem here. So what I'll do is I'm going to try and still get it all in the channel. Oh, I might have to cut some off, but we'll see. I'll try and get this all in. Oh, now the top one's falling out. Isn't that typical? So again, I'm just showing you some of the problems I'm having with this, so you don't have them. <laughs> okay, so if I can't get this in, I will have to, uh, I might have to be a bit nifty with some glue just on that edge there, which I think I'm gonna do. So uh, I'm just gonna cut away while I get this correct. All right, I did resort to gluing that in the end of the day because um, there was no way that piece was going in there and I don't want that out. As soon as I put that back on, uh, we're going to have a problem. So uh, obviously if you do get problems, you're going to have to think of a workaround. But as you can see, that looks a lot better. I'll show you on that camera. It's nice and secure now. Okay, so next bit, we're going to be putting this stage in. As I said, we're going to be putting uh, this bit face down just over the top like that. And these are all going to be secured in with uh, DM screws. So let's open our DMs up. Loads of DM screws. Right, we've got five screws to put in here. So I'll show you on the top camera. Here's the first one. First one's in. Second. Now this is issue 50. <laughs> Guess what we're going to be doing in issue 51? Exactly the same thing. Hopefully I won't have those problems again. But that's what's going to differentiate this video from the last video. I do like how these seats have got a rubbery feel and because of that sponge in there they feel quite uh, quite nice to sit on to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm never going to get that sort of thing but uh, this is the driver's seat I believe we're putting in here. So this will be going on the driver's side of the car. Uh, but that's those pieces in. That's just the back. So now step six we're going to be doing exactly the same thing to the base. So just can go in one way, just like that. And we'll get the screws loaded up to put these in. First one. Now these are gonna be secured into the driver's uh, side in a minute with the other screws. So uh, it's good that we do get to put these into the vehicle. Um, so we can see what they look like uh, and it will aid I believe it will aid getting the uh, wire tidies right and how the wires are going to run through that center channel of the vehicle so here's the last one okay so that was step six now step seven we're going to be putting it in the car with HP screws now these HP screws here I'm just going to get them out they're going to be attaching to these two bits here so those two bits are going to be going into the channel there uh, but once the chair's in which is going to be fun hang on a second sort of like that we're gonna to have to turn the whole unit upside down there until I can see them line them up properly there we go just like that uh, and obviously they're going to be adjustable so you can put the chair wherever you want so uh, what I'll do is I'll get these in and I think because of the little the way these screws are don't matter how tight you can do it, you are still going to be able to move it. I'm just going to leave it quite loose to start off with, so I can move the seat to where I want it. This is step eight, and this is the final step of this issue. 
So that's the two pieces in. And there we go, we got the first chair in. So it's looking like, I'll show you on this camera, looking like that. And from the other way. <laughs> Pretty cool, I do like that. Um, I don't know if you're gonna have room to uh, maneuver in that. I probably will push this chair back a bit, I think. I think it needs to go back a little bit, but as you can see, you can move it because I haven't done it tight. So I'll probably have it back further. And then that way, the seat belt here, show you, could just fit over the seat sort of thing. <laughs> anyway, look, that was issue 50. Um, no surprise, issue 51 is gonna be the other seat. So uh, if you wanna see the exact same video, stay tuned because issue 51 will be up soon. And um, hopefully I won't have as many problems as you just saw with that seat there. <laughs> other than that, take care.